Winston. 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 <laughs> I gotcha. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Copper Comparison Picks. My name is Ranch. Um, today I will be giving you the picks for tomorrow, uh, early morning Belarus Premier League matches, match day 5 of 10 for Saturday, April 18th. Um, earlier today I did fine. I, uh, let me explain because I kind of went one and one. But realistically, if you watch my show from last night, I did say the draw is a play. But anyway, this morning, uh, the 10.30 Belshina versus Smolvici. I took Belshina on the pick. But during the program, I said the tie. I, I remember distinctly saying the draw is a play. And it happened to come out as a draw one-to-one. Uh, -one. Belchina versus Smolvici. Now, um, I and I usually only do like a, like I said, a dust, dusting on the draw, but because yesterday I said it's an official play, I did put a full unit on it. So I consider that a win. But because I took a side and took Belchina also for a unit, you know, I usually I, I do a unit and then I dust like a half a unit onto a draw. Uh, but anyway, whatever. Call it what you will. The other game, I totally won. Slutsk, or maybe it's Slutsk. Slutsk. Because Indian Cowboy, he's another handicapper. He's calling it Slutsk. But anyway, um, I got that. I picked them to beat Shakhtar Soligorsk at, in Soligorsk. And they did. They won 2-1. Uh, to one. And yeah, I and that game I took I took the I bought a point, so I took them on the, with a uh, with the point spread, and I put a half a unit on them to win outright because it paid plus five eighty seven, and it paid. So pretty good this today. I did pretty pretty darn good in soccer today. Um, so let's get on with these. Oh man, tomorrow I got a killer, killer. I got to do a lot of work. We got uh, we got the um, four games of Belarus. Uh, or four, yeah, four games of Belarus soccer in the morning. So I got the two of these shows, and then we have one, two, three, the, all five of the games for Nicaraguan soccer tomorrow night. So I'm gonna be a little busy boy tonight. I better make some coffee. Do what I gotta do. But anyway, let's knock this sucker right out. Okay, we got um at seven o'clock tomorrow morning with your coffee. I might, I may or may not be still sleeping by then. I'm usually an early riser, but lately I've been staying up for Ricketts and his darn his darn uh, Discord chat room. Well, last night I called it. I. They got some highly pr productive handicappers in there. I'll give them, I'll give you that. Those guys are making money over there. And um, we've been running, like, uh, we discuss everything that goes on. And horse racing is throughout. <laughs> you can find a race almost any time of the day. So at night, we've been doing Australian harness racing and... Uh, but last night after race three, I was like, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I was so beat. But anyway, um, yeah, check, go to Ricketts Picks Patreon site. And then through there, you can go to the Discord chat. If you become a premium member, go to the Discord chat room. And in there, uh, my la at last count, there's 17 members. I'm one of them. And I'm active throughout the day. Well, because of the whole quarantine, you know, the whole shelter in that, all that it's good. There's nothing else to do. So I'm in there throughout the day, mobile phone in it. And then there's uh Marco Aguirre. He's on there throughout the day. These guys also work jobs. And a lot of them are 
essential workers. I'm a non-essential, so it's coronation for me. But anyway, uh, we got Ken. Uh, sorry, I forgot your last. I'm horrible with screen names, whatever. Big Pear. He comes on later in the afternoon. Uh, dog. D-A-W-G. Dog something. Um, I, I don't... Yeah, you know, I know I'm leaving out Yovan. I'm leaving out guys, but the go on to there. There's this morning. I, like I said, right before I started the show, there was six or seventeen. We had like five new guys come on today. Seventeen handicappers, and some of them are like they don't. You know, some of them are just learning, but some of them on there are seasoned experienced handicappers that I would place up with like I'm Brock Page, Mitch from Pick Dogs, Indian Cowboy. These guys are that good. Like that community that that Ricketts is starting over there, that could be the next wager pros. That could be the next picks and parlays. Who knows? The the opportunities are endless. But anyway, enough rambling on about that. Let's get to these games. Time check. I will put a time check Right here for those guys that don't like me watch, like watching me ramble. They just want to, hey, why can't you just shorten your videos to 10 minutes to throw your picks out? Time check, time check. Do that. Okay, back to what I was saying. Islock or Ilock, however you want to say it. It can be pronounced either way depending on your, where you're from. They're number eight, okay? Uh, with an overall record of two wins, zero draws. Two losses. And they're taking on Slavia Mozir, number four. Crap, I don't have room for that, but they're number four. I, crap is not really that bad of a word. They're, both these teams are plus numbers. The uh, favorite is Ilok at plus 129. Slavia is at plus 221. The spread's like a half a point or pick. So I didn't even bother throwing that down. Just pick one of these plus numbers on the winner, on who you want, who you think is going to win. Okay, uh, last season, Ilock finished off with 13 wins, 8 draws, 9 losses. Number 5, pretty decent. Uh, you know, they got, unlike Nicaragua, these are 16 teams in here. Not 10, 16. Savio Mozir, right middle of the pack. They finished the season with 10 wins, 7 draws, 13 losses. Number eight, okay? The draw on this, draws have been really popular in all sorts of, look at today, the draw's at plus 223, and what's the new rule? Followers, subscribers, whatever you wanna call yourself, always put some dust on the draws for Nicaraguan and Belarus, both those leagues, every single game, unless it's something ridiculous like I don't know the best team going against the worst team here. It's still the it's still early, but in Nicaragua, if it was Managua going against Yalapa, why throw money on the draw? I mean, but still, even then, dust, just dust. Throw a few bucks on it. What's it going to cost you? A few bucks, and what's it going to win you? A lot if it happens. It's a good insurance, good good hedge bet. Stop whining. Okay, um, the total set at two and a half, over is plus 100, under is at minus 120. Now these, all these odds I got this morning, so they probably have changed a few points. If they've changed drastically, you can notice because I'm calling them out. So look at what, look at, look at the odds you got when you placed your bet and say, oh, that's pretty close. Okay, I'll just go with what I know. Knowledge is power, you know, gather your knowledge, gather, gather your info. Last match for Islock. I don't know. I'm going to call it Ilock, even though Indian Cowboy calls it Islock. Islock is what uh, John from Ricketts, but he slaughters so many Belarus and um, Nicaraguan names. It, it doesn't matter, but uh, he says he says Islock. Uh, I say Ilock, like the S is silent, but whatever, whatever. Their last match was a loss at Dynamo Breast. And, uh, oh, they got they got beat bad, too. Three to one. I lost money on that match, too. I had them plus 
a goal and a half, and they still. Yeah. I do believe that's what how things went turned out. For Slavia Mozir, these guys, their last match was a draw against Rubrest or Rubrest, however you want to say it. <coughs> that was a z clean sheet, zero to zero draw against Rubrest, zero to zero. And that one, I also because at that, I that one I won the draw, sprinkled dust, but I had Slavia to win that game. Anyway, key players. So this is like my favorite part. Key player, key player per. I'm doing one key player to keep an eye out for per team. It's only fair, right? I'll throw a mention if there's a couple others, but I'm only writing down one per team. I, this guy, he was on here last last week too, but you know what, Alec. Oh, the, he's got the his name is Al Yak Sander, Al, then Y A K Yak, and then S A N D, then R. Not even an E before the R. It's just not Alexander. That's incorrect. Al Yak Sander, Al Yak Sander, Marcus. Or Meka, Mekas, Mekas. Anyway, um, he has two goals on the season. He is number 27. Ilock will be with wearing, I'm pretty sure they'll be wearing all white. Sponsor written in baby blue. Baby blue collar. Maybe baby blue sleeve. Baby, It's like mostly white with baby blue trim, accents, whatever you want to call it. Okay? So number 27. Keep an eye out for him. And while you're at it, there's also um, Momo Yansain is on this team. He is number 99. I believe he's a defender. He's, uh, he's the guy, he's from either Guinea, which is over in Africa, or Cameroon, over in Africa. He's African. He's from Africa. Momo Yan Yansain, number 99. You can keep an eye out. I think he's, like I said, I think he's a defender. Keep an eye out for him, too. Um, or Slavia Mozir. Player to oh this guy I called him during live chat during the game. Uh, Andre Trukli. Yeah, and he scored too. Not not this game. It was the Slavia versus it was the one prior to this. I'm not gonna look it up, but if you if you doubt me, you can check the video or whatever what have you. Andre Trukli. He is number 20. Yeah, yep, number 20. He's got two scores on the season. And Slavia Mozir will be wearing, most likely they'll be wearing red with red and black. Could be stripes or could be solid red. You know, they got their sponsor too. Okay, number 20. Keep an eye out for him. If you're watching the game on YouTube, it's seven up, it's match. It's seven o'clock in the morning, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be on. But if I do get up early, I am. I get up early often, so if I'm on there, I will. You'll see live chat, and I'll throw both these players up onto the live chat and be like, "Keep an eye out for Alexander Marcus and Andre Trukli. and I'll even throw in Yansane. And there's another guy for no, there's not another guy for Slavia. But anyway, those are key players to keep an eye out for. Okay, the. Other talent on the team, these guys, Ilock has three national team players, seven foreign players. Okay, um, Slavia, oh yeah, Range. Slavia has zero national team players and ten foreign players. So, as for, uh, um, how do you want to phrase it? Like, uh, you know, they're ten. Like proven, let's say we'll call them proven. Because if you're a national team or a contracted foreigner, you're proven. Your skills are proven. You're not just from the reserve league trying to make your way into the as a professional Premier League soccer player. So ten to ten, okay. This is this is a decent game. Um, let's see how they've fared in the past three matchups. We got back in. February of 2019, or yeah, 
No, I wrote that wrong. It was like 2018. Yeah, because I, I went chronologically. February of 2018, they got uh, I locked blew away Slavia Mosier five to nothing. And then um, in June or July, I'm sorry. Yeah, July 7th, they won two to one. Okay, and then most recently, uh, Slavia won on November 24th, they won two to zero. Okay, um, now other notes I'd like to mention, John from Ricketts Picks, he's, he's picked the Slavia, that's not a Patreon pick, that's a free pick, that's on his video today, go check that out. Rook Breast. Oh yeah, you like that? You like Rook Breast? Well, I'm not on that game yet, but I'll tell you what I think about them. Um, you pick that game, you pick a not game. Oh. Mm -hmm. You pick a not game. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, uh, Slavia Mosier. Indi oh, Indian Cowboy. He is saying under on this game. I just watched him. And he's leaning on Iloc. But let me write Ricketts here, because John, this is his free Ricky pick. Picks. Ricketts picks. Remember the kitty? Remember Ricketts? The cat? Kitty. The, he's a chubby cat, chubby gray cat. Um and it's a her, not Yeah. Me. Whatever. Indian cowboy. Ricketts pick. Indian cowboys leaning Iloc. Lean is pretty much he's saying. Oh, I don't want to be. Do you have yeah, whatever. A lean is a board? lean is a lean. Do you have right As for the over under, yeah, he's right there. His name. Um. Over under is set at two and a half. We have an under, an over, a way over, under, and over. So everything, even though, um, yeah, Indian Cowboy saying under on that game, but I'm gonna. I say I think it's gonna probably go over. I mean, I I don't know. Two and a half. I like it going over. Just like today, Slutsk, that went over. So it can happen. Two, yeah, I think it's going to, if I was to pick the score, this is this is where I have to pick my side. Um, I'm going to take Iloc for a couple reasons. They're at home, okay? They, um... You know, Dino Breast is a tough team. I watched that game that it, they shouldn't have lost three to one. I think uh, Dino Breast, Dynamo Breast, I think they scored in the uh, late 80s, in the minutes, like 89th minute or something. Well, it was our, yeah, because I remember it was two to one. I lock. Anyway, it was, a, it was a crushing defeat. But Dynamo Breast, they're, what are they, ranked number one? I don't know. They're good. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take, um, and you know what, I lock, you know, all these see, Belarus teams, let me show you, have, <coughs> all these Belarus teams have, like, crests, shields, like, uh, logos, whatever you want to call it, a crest, a shield, a logo, check out this one on I lock, I don't know if you can see it, I lock is awesome, it's like a, a wolf. Is that is that killer or what? I, I would wear that t-shirt or jersey, whatever. That's an awesome symbol. But anyway, <laughs> that's not why I'm taking Iloc. I'm taking Iloc because they're playing at home. Why you they got not a plus this? number. I'm not there yet, Nora. I'm still working on this one. Why you not so, take this? You know, I know I'm going against Ricketts, which I don't like to do because he does a lot more research than I do. Well, maybe. That's debatable. But I'm going with Iloc, but and I'm going against Indian Cowboy, and I'm taking the over. You tell okay? my finger what I have. Now, let's move on to... Move on. Move on to... <laughs> time check. I gotta put this time stamp on. This is uh, 9 o'clock. We have Rubrest. 
Rook Brest. That's this team you just wrote here. Taking on FC Minsk. Rubres comes into this game number 13 with a record, what are you doing? Of one win, one draw, two losses. Not so hot. Um, FC Mintz comes into this record with two wins, zero, lo zero draws, two losses. They are ranked number 10. 13. Okay. FC Mintz. Uh, both again, I love it when they're both plus numbers. I just gotta figure out who the hell is gonna win. Is that I know it, it slips sometimes. Rubrest is the underdog at home, plus 178. FC Minsk, Minsk plus 168. So they're still both plus numbers. The draw is at plus 207. The total's at two, with the over being one minus 125, the under being plus 105. Now, last season in 2019, Rube Breast was the farm team for Dynamo Breast, so they don't have any 2019 Premier League standing. FC Mints last season went uh, nine wins, nine draws, 12 losses, finished the season at number nine out of 16 teams. Um, the last match for Rube Breast was a draw at, oh, right over here, Slavia. Zero to zero. Okay. Um, FC missed, their last match was a loss versus Bert, Bert Borisov. And that was, a zero to three loss. Tisk tisk Minsk. Um, key players to watch for. For root breast, uh, it's the same guys last time. Um, Alexi Rolfton. Now Alexi Rolfton is uh, Ukrainian, and he is number fifty. Okay. He's got one score on the season. Oleksii Rolfton. Um, and FC Minsk. Oh, this guy. Vladimir. Here we go with the super long name. Kavashchinsky. There you go. Kavashchinsky. Kavash. Oy, oy, oy. Chinsky, oy, oy. Kavash Chinsky. Chin, oy, oy. Chins, Chinsky. Kavash Chinsky. Vladimir Kavash Chinsky is number 10. He's got two goals on the season. Okay. As for other talent on the team, we have, uh, for Rook Breast, because they're a farm team, they're not going to have national team players on their team yet. Uh, zero Nats, but they do have seven foreigners. Rolfton, I believe, is a for Yeah, he's the Ukrainian. So, uh, he's considered a foreigner. And, um, as for FC Minsk, they also don't have, they have no national team players on their team. No Nats and six foreigners. North, get down off there. What are you doing? What? Oh yeah? You, you already had dinner. What did you eat out in the living room that I brought you? Yeah, but I don't know, you guys... That were... was a snack. Oh, that was a snack? You So you have 10 chicken nuggets for a snack? Yep. Okay. Alright. Um, last three head-to-head -head matches. Oh, that's easy. None. They've never played each other because Rube Rest was a farm team. Ugh, that's too big. I can't. I don't have room to write my name if I want to put it there. N-A. Okay. Last three matches are not available because they didn't have a play. Now, that makes it tough to pick the over-under. 
What I can do is I can look really quickly at their head-to-head -head research sheet and just take a peek at their last games that they've played against other teams this season, all right? Uh, Rue Breast, 0-0 zero, zero draw, you know that. 1-0 uh, to zero loss to Bait. 1-0 um, to zero loss to Energetic. Oh, they beat Dynamo Minsk one to zero. So all that, all four games right there have been under. And then for uh, Slavia Mozir, we'll do four games for them too. Three to zero loss to. Oh, I'm sorry, Slavia Mozir. Minsk, Minsk, three to zero loss to Bait. Um. I chose that. That's the show I did with John from Ricketts Picks. Pick that one correctly, bait. Um, then they had a loss to Energetic, Energetic BGU, two to zero. So that's push. Um, ooh, that's a high scoring game. Well, high for this league. They had a win against, it was Minsk versus Dynamo Minsk. That was three to two victory. That's over. And the fourth game, they had a win against Belshina Bobrusk, 3-1. to one. So, it looks like we got uh, three overs and a push for Minsk in their last four games. And they were all under, right? For, yeah, and for Rook Breast, they're all under last four. So, like, it's still, that's a tough... Tough call, tough call. But I, uh, yeah, yeah. Any leans? No leans from anybody either. Indian Cowboy. Indian Cowboy leans on Rook to win, but he did not. He didn't mention anything about the total. Um, I don't know about the total. I'm not sure. I'll probably go with the fave. With the, I'll go, I'll go with the over. It's favored. It's supposed to win. It's supposed to come out. Oh, and it's at two. Yeah, it should go over two. Hopefully. If, you know, I probably won't play the, the total. As for winning this game, um, I'm going to take the home underdog. Yeah. I'm gonna take root breast, home underdog. Only I'm not impressed with uh, FC Minsk this season. I yeah, they they have a better record, but um, you know, Oleski Rovta, he's a uh, one of my fellow countrymen, my um on my my father's side. I, if you can't tell, I'm mixed breed. My mother's Korean, my father's my father's mixed European, but. His mother, my grandmother on my father's side, all Ukrainian. Yeah, so that's and it's Ukrainian borders Belarus. Oh, I'd like to say, um, first let me recap. I get uh, mind boggled. I got Ilok beating Slavia Mozir at home, and that's gonna go over two and a half. And then I have Rue Brest also winning at home beating FC Minsk, and that's going to go over two. Okay, there's your timestamp. Well, I should have said timestamp before I did the recap, but there's a recap. Now, um, I'd like to thank, I have uh, new subscribers, a bunch of them, but uh, somebody in the comments asked if I was from Belarus. That's, that's funny. I'm not. I'm, I'm totally not. I'm from the United States, but I appreciate that. And I also got a complete uh, subscriber. He's his chant like you go, and everything's in Russian or Belarusian or Ukrainian. I don't know. They all they're not the same, but they all they're all the same. Like they look like the same alphabet. So I don't know what it is. But uh, anyway, for that guy, Privyat Dubroit. Pajalovich Namoit Kanal. That means hello and welcome to my channel. Okay? So, gather your info.
place your bets and cash those tickets. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure if you haven't subscribed yet, do that. Click the thumbs up. Notifications, because like I said, I got a ton of work to do. I got five Nicaraguan games. I got, um, how many more of these? Two? Two more of these to do. So yeah, I'm going to be a little busybody for, do I have two or four more? I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck on your bets, and I will see you next episode. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs>